We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. They love their football in this part of the country, and this crowd is ready to go as their guys will match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, 28 yards on the ground. And that's definitely the way to get things started. That's the way it was drawn up in the locker room, in pregame, and everything. And they got it done right away, running the ball for a big game. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. On the ground, it's Eckler. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out of, and right up the middle. He was looking for Mike Williams that time, and that'll bring up second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again. Herbert on the screen. This is Eckler. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. Yeah, this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down, and they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Badgley's kick is good. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Danny Johnson returning. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. So first and 10 now from the 30. Let's go, defense. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. 
Now it's Smith. Now they go screen. It's complete. Give him nine yards on the second down screen play. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to it and forcing a third down. Third down, Gibson, and he will have a first down here at about the 40. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it's going to yield a new set of downs. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where the low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage, but it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Out of the gun, Smith. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, and now it's second down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. On second and ten, Smith off to Thomas on the left side. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. From the gun on third down, Smith. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good. But when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he stopped immediately there. Jimmy Moreland there on the stop. You don't see that a ton, do you? The cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Under pressure and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Chase Young credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby, and he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have the coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. This Washington seven, Chargers three.
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Takes it at the seven. And able to get this out to the 25. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get take possession. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. First down, Charger. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Herbert on first down now. And this one complete to Virgil Green. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Running on first down, Eckler. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Going on the ground with Eckler. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. Through an opening, and there he goes. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at the 23-yard line. And they'll run the option to start the drive. No, oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And picked up by the Chargers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. 
That throw into the arms of Allen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. So that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick... Don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Here's Ty Long now to punt this one away. Steven Sims set to return it for Washington. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up. And going to halftime, looking at each other, wondering what if. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. To throw again on second down. Smith and a sideline pass that's caught by Thomas. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. From the gun, here's Smith. Catch here, left side, Thomas. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To the air again, Smith. And his throw here is incomplete. Kelvin Harmon, the man he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. To throw again, Smith. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Throwing on third down, Smith. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. 
Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first down, it's Herbert. He'll find Williams on the slant. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. L.A. readies for its next possession. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. On Herbert, his third interception. Picked off by Landon Collins. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. Take over first and 10. He'll air this one out deep for Sims. And this one is incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Fielded in the end zone, and he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And now a pass dumped off to his running back. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. They completed the screen, but one of the things you worry about is can the quarterback get rid of the ball before he's actually tackled? So your offensive linemen have to hold up the rushers a little bit because you want to make sure you keep your guy's jersey clean throughout the game. To throw on third down. Smith, now he's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Tackle made by Thomas Davis. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's Herbert now on second down toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver, but now it'll be third down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Buying time to his left. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Go, 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 go. 
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Taylor a handoff, it's Eckler. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. A first throw here for the backup, Taylor. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll throw on first down with Taylor. And right side, Henry's got it. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He was unable to shake three there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Taylor, he'll try and run it. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. 47-yard line. A nine-yard gain on the play, and it's third down. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43-yard line. Chase Young picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game in the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Now on is the putter long here as he sends this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards, and it'll move the chains. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. A run here for J.D. McKissick. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The offense on third down tonight. Two for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll run with McKissick. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. 
It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now a handoff here to his running back. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The tackle made by Joey Bosa in on the stop. No luck whatsoever there on the draw. Yeah, they're supposed to use their aggressiveness against them. That was the hope. But maybe they had too big of a meal last night. A half step slow, and he ends up running right into the meat of the defense. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. A shotgun snap for Smith. Open man is Sims. He's got it. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 28. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Operating from the gun. Smith. Being chased out left. Thirty-yard line, second and twelve. Gonna give this time to the tailback, and he'll take this inside the thirty to about the twenty-nine, maybe the twenty-eight-yard line. And now, with one fifty-two to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Smith. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. They got the completion, but they didn't get the first down. So you got to think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're pretty happy with what you just accomplished there. Yeah, guy, like you said, got him out of bounds, stopped the clock. Kept them short of the marker. For the Washington field goal. A 44-yard attempt. And Hopkins' kick is good. 
And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet. Okay, being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. back of the end zone and he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25 Herbert and the Chargers trailing 10 to 3 just over a minute 40 to play they need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10 he's back to throw Allen's got it over the middle and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. He'll get this to Eckler. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. This is where you learn a lot about rookie quarterbacks. How can they run that two-minute drill? We're about to find out. Yeah, and for them, it's not just proving it to guys like you and me watching the game and trying to beat a defense. It's proving it to their teammates that they can have the confidence in them when they line up in these situations. They'll look to throw. And all oh, this is taken in one hand and what a catch. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And remember, field goal does them no good in this situation. You got to think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Herbert now to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Now it's Herbert. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 27-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Today's finals, Washington. Well, going into the final Chargers play of this three. game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Baltimore. Crab cakes will be waiting for us, partners. We head to the airport. Heck yeah.